Oh, good evening to you. We do begin tonight with new developments in the debate over crypto mines. Today, Arkansas lawmakers voted to undertake an interim study on regulating those facilities as they consider whether to revisit a law that placed them largely off limits to local officials. Our Andrew Mobley is on your side now with what that study will entail. Andrew. The interim study was proposed by Senator Joshua Bryant, one of the sponsors of that controversial law, Act 851. Small town communities across the state are protesting against Act 851, widely seen as limiting local government's ability to regulate crypto mining, an industry that has become controversial for everything from immense power usage and noisy machines to ownership by companies connected to the Chinese government. Act 851 was never intended to limit local control. It was simply meant to say, hey, once local control is established and once these businesses are up and operating within your jurisdiction you can't just capriciously remove them because you don't like something they did whatever the intent of act 851 certain companies have taken advantage of a lack of regulations in arkansas addressing crypto mining a relatively new industry to the natural state there's bad actors that take advantage of our counties that don't have or don't want to use the tools they have to regulate these industries and so what the interim study does is say, hey, what can the state do to regulate the noise where counties can't? What can we do to regulate who owns them as far as foreign adversaries where the counties wouldn't have the, the power to do that? Opposition to Act 851 among lawmakers is mounting. Senator Brian King represents Harrison, one of a number of communities denouncing the new law and fighting against the installation of crypto mines. We should be on guard and not trust the same people that sold us the bad bill to begin with. It's still an industry protection bill written by the industry insiders and the same people that have been uh, misleading us all along, uh, they're still behind it. They're obviously trying to rebound and divert and deceptively uh, get the track off of what the real issue is that we should be uh, looking at with these, such as a moratorium on possible moratorium on crypto mines. King and other lawmakers, such as Representative Matt Duffield of Russellville, have indicated they're preparing several measures addressing Act 851's perceived shortcomings for April's fiscal session, including its repeal, something many of their constituents are calling for. Everyone of the majority would support some amendments to the act. Uh, a few want full repeal, and I've told them repeal does not fix any of the issues that the industry is currently causing through the bad actors. I mean, we've got several crypto mining facilities that existed well before the act that didn't generate noise. They're owned by local Arkansans, um, some veterans, and so they weren't creating any issue. And so I wanted to protect those actors. The governor has acknowledged controversies surrounding crypto mining in Arkansas and hinted at legislation addressing the industry at the next regular session in 2025. Senator Bryant, as a sponsor of Act 851, says he is working with the governor's office on that. On your side, I'm Andrew Mobley. Okay, Andrew, thanks very much. We've got much more information on crypto mining in Arkansas with our digital story on KATV.com.